Yep. I just took down his rook. Or whatever that chess piece is. I don't know. Squeak out of this. Why did you say that the defendant left her an extra that was clearly blocked? Well, you see... Merely confused. What do you mean confused? I'm not following you. I'm not gonna say anything because, um, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna turn off the audio while I get a quick bite of this muncho. Okay guys, I'm back, and munchos are freaking delicious as hell. Oh god, I love these things. I could eat an entire bag if I wanted to. You've got the queen on the head, Mr. Payne. What? You're a fucking idiot. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. Please don't hide against me. There's a dead body. My opponent's dead body. Any other person would just would have been just as disturbed. So guys, um, besides that little interruption with me being so hungry all of a sudden, even though I'm freaking fat as heck. I'm just gonna say this, and I'm gonna say it proudly. I'm not wearing any underwear. Not just kidding, but I'm I'm for all you people who watch my videos and stuff, and who have the actual patience to watch all my videos. I'm I'm really happy because at this point I'm just I'm a nobody. I'm a loser. But for, for the three people who actually watch my videos, I I thank you. I thank you guys a lot. You guys are my inspiration. I'm being really poetic and deep here. You guys are my inspiration. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. You give meaning to my life. You're my inspiration. And all that good junk. I only know that song because of Elite Beat Agents, by the way, and I don't remember it all because I haven't played Elite Beat Agents in so long. That game was freaking awesome. The best $5 I've ever spent. Yeah, I got it at a um, GameStop for $5. I'm sorry if you can hear me. I accidentally hit my mic. Why that dirty rotten scoundrel? He took off with my bread. He won't slip out that easy. Now then, please tell us exactly what you saw. I think it's worth noting what you had, what had you so confused. With pleasure, your honor. I think this is the second of third testimony, I believe. I apologize for my misinterpretation of events. I'm afraid I really wasn't paying much attention to the painter as he left. The dead body before me on the bench, I felt quite, became quite fatigued. It was then that I noticed a crudane belonging on the ground. The paint, pouch, and the paintbrush, the defendant's paintbrush, 
After that, I ran straight for a phone booth to call the police. I think I can understand why you seem to come through this piece of This clears up the wind. Really? Really? Uh, sometimes the I want to punch the judge. So for this testimony, what you'd have to do is. You have to press the force statement. Or something like that. The paintbrush fell too, huh? Mm-hmm. The defendant screen paintbrush. It fell from inside his coat. Do you not believe me? But that's strange. You know. I've been thinking, you're wrong. Because a paintbrush is long and thin, right? Like a pencil or a pen. The kind of obvious thing here. And a coat has pretty cope. And a coat has pretty deep pockets. A paintbrush wouldn't have uh, not easily. In fact, it couldn't have. Yeah, it seems to have happened. No. Oh, come on! You're fucking with me now. I wonder what that want thing was. It's like, well, once I... I... When I was, you know, it kind of slipped and fell into, you know, with, you know, and... It was a very bad process. But yeah, it was a, just a very bad process. Mm, monchos. Monchos. Well, I never said that. Really? The paintbrush, it fell out of the old man's pouch as it hit the ground. So, yeah, this is about as stupid as stupid can get. Objection. But first... Okay, I'm back. Just a quick little um, audio turn off there. Mmm, munchos. Because that paint rash couldn't fit inside the pouch. Ha! And Justice for All's objection theme is really weak. I mean, it's a good theme and all, but it's just kind of weak in my opinion. I, I never really liked Justice for All's objection theme. I mean, I love the original. I loved every other one. Maybe even Apollo Justice. Well, not so much Apollo Justice. I mean, Apollo Justice was good, but it's the same thing as Justice for All. I just didn't like it that much. But AEI and AI 2s are just freaking beasts, especially AI 2s. It is just beast. I'm just telling you, it's one of the most beast things I have ever heard in a long time. Maybe a paintbrush? Yeah, exactly. See? The pouch is full, filled with paint. 
If nothing else can fit in there, how the fuck did a paintbrush? Yeah, exactly. Get, 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 great. Pass. Oh, Kasparov? Who the fuck is that? I don't know. He's probably talking to some Russian literature or something. And the great Russian love story. This means, well, this means a few things, Your Honor. No. But Mr. McQueen said that the paintbrush fell out of the pouch. And yet the brush could not fit in there, so therefore he failed at life. <laughs> but still, the paintbrush was at the scene of the crime. Objection! Objection! Exactly. Enough! I'm tired of your two! Fine! You guys are giving me a fucking headache! You go to your room! You go to your room! And I'm gonna give you a spanking later if you don't... ...stay in your room! I... I... Yeah, well, anyways... Gee... Unless you teleport... What? What? Just what? Where did the paintbrush come from? And where did it go? For a good question. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, it's not a big deal to me. You will receive a penalty. A big penalty. It's not that big of a deal. And yeah, I'm saving a lot just because... Why are you so... Yeah, pressurized all of a sudden. It looks like she's gonna burst and have an aneurysm. Well, if the paintbrush didn't belong to Mr. Garapin, then it was planted there. Isn't it obvious? Come on, Payne! Yeah, there you go. Answered all my questions before I can even have a chance to answer them. And a patch of paint alone wouldn't, I uh, probably wouldn't either. A paint pouch alone wasn't decisive enough. So the paintbrush was planted to make Mr. Garvin look guiltier. Guess who, guys? Ready? Ready? Take that! There was another person at People Park that day. Was a victim. A person who knew that the painter was on the scene. And that person is... You, Mr. McQueen! Is this the... Inform the Truth theme? Yeah, I think this is the Inform the Truth theme. But I can't be sure because I haven't played Justice for on a while. Because he's a real killer. She was a hiding a suicide. He hated that pain. There can only be one reason why King McQueen would hide. Yeah, because he's a fucking killer! Come on, it's pretty damn obvious. At this point, at this point, we should be done with this case, right? But guess what? We're not. We're not even close to being done, so ha. Huh. Get over it, bitches. And all you out there, 
I wanna, I wanna raise an award. I, I've done good today. I've successfully gone through five testimonies without any help. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm like super epically awesome. Now beat rise from the action. Rise from the action. Rise from the ashes without any penalties. Damn it. Hmm. You learn from the best, I guess. Yes. Yes, I do. I have evidence, you dumbass. Are you sure about that? I, you know, back in my day, well, actually finding criminals and defending getting stuff was even, even harder because the lack of technology and all that. Back then, though, we didn't have AIDS. At least it was a better thing, though, you know. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the rapist away. Maybe it's just the baby that needs to be loved until it's a- Oh, you- That's the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Maybe it's just the baby that- I don't even remember what it says now. I have such a bad memory, I swear. Possibility? Let's hear it, Miss Faye. Do you have evidence that Mr. McQueen had a paintbrush? Yeah, a small plastic bag. We found this bag in a trash can in the park near the chess table. The logo says it's from Pizza Rest. It's like Toys R Us, but deadlier. And paints the rest is just down the street from People Park. How inconvenient. Oh, how convenient for you. Objection. Lucky for us, though, there was a receipt inside the bag. And conveniently, it said there was a thousand. That 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 I can't speak. It's nearly three a.m. Why am I not to sleep? Why am I not to sleep? Why am I not to sleep? I got no life. I really need to sleep. I'm probably not gonna go to sleep until like fucking five a.m. And it's gonna be like I'm gonna be recording like TSRP two, and I'm gonna be like playing Phoenix right, and I'm gonna try and do all this crap, you know. <sighs> and I'm gonna have to consider uploading all these things that. I have to do all this editing, and I have to do all this and that. And I want to eat Muncho stuff. I am so hungry, guys. Just eating a few of those things doesn't satisfy. And if you're watching this afterwards, I probably did eat those Muncho, so yeah. I'm not going to put an annotation up just because I ate a bunch of Munchos, which are one of some of the best potato chips on Earth, by the way, besides Lay's. Well, Lay's Classic and Lay's Barbecue. I love Lay's Barbecue. And why am I off topic? I'm talking about chips while in court. And I already talked about this before, so therefore it's boring. I don't know. What's better than me just saying the script while adding my own commentary to it, right? Sorry! I'm drinking my Pepsi! The new noodle cart in Nick's wallet can attest to that. Hey, 
Hibiki. Is that the guy who, um... Uh, you know... I almost think that's an Apollo Justice reference, in a way. Hibiki? I think it might be, but I am not sure. What? That's that's what I keep picturing painting. What? Yeah, and then he moves his queen over to where you can't capture it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so. That's your move. You think I went on my way to mi kill Mr. Carver? Hmm? How droll. This is as bad as sacrificing your queen for a night. A colossal blunder. He's saying that he knows his chess. The girl moves carefully, thoughtlessly, pointlessly. I can't stand players like that. This isn't a game. Actually, it is a game, Maya. Get over it. Hmm. There is a certain amount of logic to what the witness says. The defense has made an accusation without even providing a motive. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. I think I got a hair in my eye. It's very annoying. You know, like when you... You just feel one of your long... And I burped again. You know, long hair in your eye and it's just like, move, move.